Welcome back uh, to another episode. We're down here this long weekend. We took the Friday off and we're down here at Lennox Head uh, Campground. We're here with some friends. Um, such an epic place this place is. We're down here. It's uh, got the Lake Endsworth right here. We've also got the surf just over there. And we're just camping in this beautiful place here. Reflections, I think it is. So we're going to cruise around for the next uh, day or two and check out the scenery. And we're pumped. It's such a beautiful day. And we're looking forward to it, so we'll catch up with you later. We've got a good game of things to coming up, so we'll check out for that. So for this trip, we're actually running the uh, Oz tent today for these two nights. Um, and it's kind of nice to get back to the Oz tent. We haven't used it for a while, so we're pretty happy to get back in there. It's a bit more space. And then follow me around here, my brother, because he's on the trip as well. Um, he's using the, uh, the crash pad swag. We've got the warning out for him. And um, so he's just in that, which is fine, just for a couple of nights. And we've got a set up over there with some friends and that. So, um, yeah. We're just going for a cruise now. We've just left camp. We're just checking out some of the beaches along the way between Lennox and Ballina. First time for me crossing the border into New South Wales in over a year, I would say. Um, so it's nice to get down here and it's beautiful beaches. Blake's on the hunt for some waves to surf, but mm. don't know how we're going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll keep plotting along and see what we can find. Tree Lake and we've hired some sups and some kayaks just from the reception at the caravan park so we're just gonna spend a couple of hours down here at the lake it's a beautiful afternoon it's like three o'clock it's hot so it's nice and cool down here and we're just having a good time yeah. day we hired some sups and some kayaks and stuff down the lake down here at Lake Hansworth it's so beautiful um, just chilled out around there hung down the lake raiders we didn't film that much but it was just a magic day top spot here um, we're camping right here and the lake as you can see behind me the lake's right there it's so good and the beach is just 100 meters that way if that so it's really good folks just came back had some afternoon drinks and then um, played some Finkster, which I won, which I'm pumped about. 2021 Finkster Lennox champion. You read about it. And now just uh, a couple of fellows are just going to get some fish and chips, and I was cooking up some leftover dinner from the shell. And then uh, we'll probably finish another game of Finkster, so it's looking good. Great day. G'day, guys. Blake here. <laughs> just uh, woke up this morning, got woken up really early because someone hung bread on my tent on the front and the bush turkeys got into it at night I thought it was my brother but it wasn't my brother it was actually another mate named Paul but I blame my brother for it like I do in life and a lot of the times anyway just got up this morning went for a swim at the beach then went to the lake that's just over there just point to the lake show the viewers I got back camera back on me back on me all right so yeah now we're just packing up side as you can see here um, got the four-man tent but only one man and one woman sleep in it so that's really good and um, yeah we're just packing up See you on the other side. Start the music. Yeah. G'day guys, Blake here again. <coughs> and so what we did, this is a guy who um, put the bread rolls everywhere and woke everyone up with bush turkeys, pecking them at night. So what we did is, um, you can see here, we've just helped him out a little bit. We've come to his car and 
just to give him little surprises with any surfboard bag. We've got bread rolls. And if you come in here, we put a bread roll down here, or part of one. We've left a trail of destruction. There's one here, I don't know if the light will pick it up. There, you know where they all are. In front of your supplies are. down there. Oh yeah, in the glove box too. There we go. So he'll get a few, he'll get a few surprises when he uh, packs up the car and has a look through his car in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Hey guys, Blake here again. And so this is the camp setup. I'll, we'll just take you around camp a little bit to see what we got. So I've got a crash pad here that was epic. Rained heavily last night. Didn't even know it rained. So I was stoked about that. You follow through down here. Ranger. Then here's Blake and Michelle set up. They've got a luxury set up. Best of everything as normal. We come around here. And we've got the Bullblitzer guy, the bread roll guy. Um, Paul and Karsh set up here. It's a $180 tent that's 10 years old, but it does the job. So they've got a nice little setup. This is our communal area. You can see Blake here is actually packing up. Blake's a real workhorse of the, of the group. You can see he's not stopped working all morning. So we've got a um, gazebo. This is the first time we've used it. It was easy to set up and it was so handy because it's been real hot down here. And um, going down on the sides like that, it gives us way more shade. So it's just been a godsend. And then here, we've got Jace Siobhan and their three kids set up. They've got the Taj Mahal here. It's all locked up, but I won't go into it. They've got the internal ladder, so the kids sleep up here and the parents are down here. We've got the box trailer, um, you know, with all the gear. We've got the kitchen set up here, which is awesome. They're actually staying another night. Um, yeah, so they've got everything here, and if you pan back that way, Shelly, that's our little camp setup. We've already had one person leave already, um, and she was right down the end as well, so it's been a sick day. We're just starting to pack up this morning. We just ended up staying for one night, just because of, we got down late because of work and that type of thing, anyway. So it's Saturday morning and it's like 10 o'clock and yeah, we're heading home. Take two men to roll up swag. Wet swag. making the most of our last what, hour or something at Lennox we've decided not to go we're going to go driving down along the beach but it's, the beach is really rough today probably wouldn't be very pleasant you'd probably just like drive down there turn around come back so kind of not really worth it um, so we've just come and got a little feed we went to papaya just down the main street of Lennox. Okay, I just got a papaya bowl. And just like a cold pressed orange and turmeric juice. And Blake got bagels. Caprice, a caprice bagel. It's warm, toasted. It looks really, really good. I'm so hungry. He got one of them times two. <laughs> <laughs> So that's about it for our time in Lennox. We didn't do a great deal. We just kind of relaxed a lot, swam a lot. The boys went for a swim this morning over at the beach and then again in the lake. It's just so hot. So I think we're probably gonna avoid camping in summer huh. in the future. <laughs> anyway, it's just a short trip from home, one nighter. Our first trip of the year. Yeah. It's good to get away with a friend. Yeah. All right, so that's that on Lennox. Amateur hour. And we got a papaya bowl. Take a photo. Oh, is it? Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, you, you're the camera woman. This is the blooper section now. Okay. 